Hi there everybody, another day in Photoland. Today I'm talking, taking care of uh, photos in Ken Stock Photo. It's a website that, that sells uh, the yourself photos and I'll show you what, what I do is my day, the daily work when I work on it. What I do is I usually make an Excel file and put all the, all the titles and keywords that makes life easier. Now here here I already, already put in I already put in the keywords now. Now I'll put in the the titles. Which we'll see. Now I'll put in the titles. I usually first put in the the bottom part, and then I put on the description, and then I do the title. Easier for me to run down. So mostly you want to sell photos. This is what you can do most of the time. Upload photos and put in keywords and put in titles. You know, whenever you have an Excel file and you work on it, it becomes easier for you. Let's make it look nice. There are some websites easier, some less. In this site it's pretty easy. It's, you know, it's, this is the work. And you, you can see the keywords. Look for the video how to find keywords for for Ken Stock Photo. It's uh, in Shutterstock. I work with Shutterstock. I find photos there. I'll, I'll show it to you in the, end of the video. That's not right. Okay, now we got it. Now, amazing landscapes of South Africa. This, I think, it's in uh, near Cape Town in South Africa. This is one of my one of one of my photographers I work with. He takes these photos, so I use yourself photos for photographers also. So it's like my photos and different photographers' photos. A lot of paste copy. Another thing is very important when you take photos in, in your Photoshop, blow it up to like 100% and see if it's uh, in focus. If it's out of focus, so don't upload these photos. Upload all your photos at 100% in, fo in focus because otherwise they, they're not gonna let you, they're not gonna have your photo go on the website. And also will give you a, a bad reputation of upload not good photos. Okay, now we're finished with it. You click on this button here. Click on it again. I own the copyrights or I have the rights to sell photos. You see, we have near 16 left. This is a list. When you have a list from zero to 50 percent, you'll be able to to submit per day five photos. That means every time they finish reviewing the photos, they open it again. So you could a couple times, 25. I I've, I've done it a couple times, like 25 photos, three times in the same day. So it's 
So it's really helpful if the more you upload it, it's a, it's a way to make the... When you have a photographer that has a lot more work, a lot of good photos, he'll get to like 5,000 5, a day or 2,500 2, a day, it's like a lot of photos. And now it's in pin, now you'll see the photos in, in pending. I already talked about the statistics and different, all the other stuff in a different video. So in, in this video, I didn't get any more s s sales the last time I uploaded. Now we'll go ahead to the next, next one. This is a IEM, it's another website I work with. It's mostly, it's almost the same work as, as the other site, the same thing, more or less. But here, this is a good, it's good about this website. They work with Getty Images. You see, all these photos are also on Getty Images. You see this, I uploaded these photos today, a couple minutes ago. It already became, uh, what it means in, whatever it means that, that these photos are, also sold in Getty Images. It's a big website, Getty Images, if you heard about it, it's a big, big sh sh stock website. They do more of the same thing. So I, I always work with this site and then they upload it automatically to Getty Images. It means they don't have to work twice. And another website I work with is uh, Dreams Time, the same, same, more or less the same thing. Here it's like, I'll show you what it's the same thing, more or less. You fill in keywords, description, title, and also uh, categories. It's really important categories. And in this website, you can also do tag of an area, like South Africa, Jerusalem, different sites. And when the, the site I usually work with a lot is the Shutterstock. You can see I have a huge amount of photos here. Like I have 60, 62 photos. In this website, when you upload a photo, when you upload the photos, they'll stay here till you accumulate for like 30 days. After 30 days, they take it off. Now we'll talk about how, how do you do marketing and how, how do you do marketing for photos. We'll go into IEM. I'll show you do marketing photos. Okay, here, this is what we'll do. You see, you see the button here. It's to share photos. We'll share it on Google Plus. You know, Google Plus is going off in in the next uh, a week, a week and a half. We're not, you're not going to see Google Plus anymore. So it's one less thing to work with. But I, I advise you to work with. Uh, with Instagram, I'll, sh I'll show you a, a different video. And Instagram, how can you do it in one website? The Instagram goes to one website, and then you will to have uh, putting the links to Shutterstock and all the other stock photo sites. That means that you could put one link in Instagram and have it linked to like the open a link, and I'll see a list of websites that they work with. Okay, so it's not relevant Google Plus anymore. And Twitter, I like doing Twitter. Usually I upload on Twitter. It's very easy to tweet and that's it. Okay. Now Facebook. I'll post it not in my not in my Facebook itself, but in uh, not in my story. I hear no not not in my story. I'll do it in my uh, my page of, I have a page for Photoland, I'll show it to you. You should open up a page for your photos and try to start selling your photos here. Photoland selling photos for photographers. And then I could also, what I'll do here is take this. Take this. Now it's here, go to my page. 
Now we'll go to the next row. It's called hashtags. Hashtags you can also do in, for, in Facebook. Hashtags you can do everywhere almost, except Pinterest. Okay, if you want to have the two words, you have to have a under space. And here I'll tag, look what I'll do, tag myself, why? Take it also the photo land app group. This is my group. And the next one I usually do is also tag the photographer. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But today I won't do it. And what else I'll, I'll do is, I also have a group, it doesn't matter, forget it. And you can also do it on your page, in your story and everything, but I, I'm not doing it on my front page, because this is not a photo I took, it's a photo one of the photographers took, so I don't put it on my... What I'll do here is also write the name, no, usually, sometimes I write the name of the photographer, since I don't, so I'll erase my this one. Okay, that's it. It's better to put as much as you could written about the photos. So this is how you paste it. Now we'll go to Pinterest and we'll just, I'll show you how to do it here. Here in Pinterest, you can't really do uh, hashtags, it doesn't work that way. You, you just put in the written, but it's good to write how, how, how to sell photos or buy photos. In here, it's pretty obvious it's a website that sells photos, so it's not. Here I already have boards already ready made. The only thing you have to do is really pick which way you want the photos in. And here photos to sell, save. You should do it every if you want to if you want to if you want to do it every couple hours. Don't put like tw ten or fifteen photos at the same time. Do one photo, wait two hours, go out, take more pictures, come back and and upload upload and then share more photos. Don't do too much because you it, people will see that you you're pushing too much. You know it's like almost like spam. Same thing in this website. Okay, we'll find my, my portfolio. And I'll show you here how to do share right here. And shout is not the same, it's more or less the same thing. We just take the photos, I'll show you what they do. Much easier to share from the website than share from your page, from uh, the link. You see? Share. Share on Facebook and Twitter. Now, all that I have here is you could just take the link. In Pinterest, this link doesn't really work. 
Okay, let's see what else you have. Also in, uh, in this website, it's the same thing, more or less. You know, you go to your account. Online files. See? Share on Pinterest, share on Twitter, share on Facebook. And referral link, the link to this photo. So we, and also I advise people that, you know, Whenever you start doing getting good at, at, at photography and uploading selling photos, do videos like, like I do and put a affiliate link to the photos on your web, your photography website. Put a link to Shutterstock or other sites, you make money from uh, affiliate. That's really good. This is the Shutterstock, how you find keywords. You press search, you see it searched here, you see one, two, you see it here, see, and then you press get keywords, and yeah, you pick the keywords you want, and that's it. I hope I was really helpful in this, vi in this video. I, I give you advice to photographers to try out, or you could sell through, through my company ish, a photo land. Please uh, contact me, you, you see in the uh, link. Uh, underneath the video, links to the websites, links to the, everything you need to know about selling photos and links to the websites of selling photos. And if you have any questions, leave a, leave a comment under the video and I'll get back to you because that's the way I, I could get back to you or, or you, or you could leave me. That's a way to, fi to find me. And that's it for today and I'll, and I'll see you, and I'll see you tomorrow or the next day. Thank you very much and have a good uh, weekend. Bye.